Hey YouTube, uh, Martin here. Gonna do one more talk about uh, plants and tanks. Um, so you'll see in my videos I have two types of tanks. I have a tank that has decorations in it and a tank that is a planted tank, has a ton of plants in it. And I will continue to work on this tank. I wanted to talk about the plants a little bit. Um, so when you go to a fish store, let me just uh, hold the camera a little bit better. When you go to a fish store and you don't know what fish to buy, but you want to buy a fish, um, buy a plant instead. Um, why? Why would I say that? Well, it will save you a headache down the long run um, because if you just go into a pet store, you don't know what you what fish you want to buy, you will buy a fish. It'll likely end up not the fish you want. Um, so I would say buy a plant instead. At least with a plant, you can't go wrong. Um, and it will give you that extra bit of time to figure out what it is you really want and what kind of fish you really want in your aquarium. Um, so it'll save you a headache down the long run having fish you don't want in your tank so like i said if you go to the pet store you want to spend some money on the fish you don't know what fish buy a plant instead um, don't don't waste your time buying a fish you don't you don't know about you don't uh, you know do your homework um at some point so in this tank i want to get back into my tank uh, here uh, about the tank talk. So so the planted tank, originally this tank started out with pure sand from my saltwater aquarium, um, which is great substrate, to be honest, for any plants. It works wonders for me. Um, I've added a little bit of soil, a little bit of gravel on top of that, and then uh, I put in community fish and a few decorations, mostly natural decorations. And in time, I've added more and more plants as I saw the aquarium, the aquarium was ready to sustain a plant, right? Once the water was good, the fish were not getting sick and were not dying because I stopped buying more and more fish. Then I started getting into plants, adding a little bit more, a little bit more. So now I'm at the point where I'm fairly happy. I did not do any special lighting except for a nice bright LED light. You have to give them, with LED lights, you have to give them a little bit more lighting. I, I tend to keep the light on at least 12 hours a day in my planted tank because the LED lights are not that great compared to old traditional lighting. I find that they're not as good, uh, don't provide in as much light, but I, you know, don't quote me, I'm still learning just as, uh, you know, along with you guys. So, um, in time, my sword tail started to grow out quite big, and my other plant, and so on, and now I've uh, moved on to adding more plants, and now I'm getting a carpet for uh, plant, uh, for watch the previous video I did for the tank. So I've also taken my time, picked the fish I want. So I have electric blue jack damsies. There's three of them in there. I have two as a backup in the other tank in case one doesn't make it because they are tiny babies. Um, I do have a flower horn in here. I want him to be the star of the tank. I um, know that it might not work out with the flower horn, but we'll see. I'll do my best. I've added some CO2 uh, injection right there. In, so that's uh, for my plans. So that's the idea is basically don't, it's taken months, um, several, several months, seven months or more for me to get my planted tank and my plants to grow. And I use uh, some chemicals I've mentioned before. I use this chemical right here um, once a month or, 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 or twice a month sometimes. And I do now do the, um, where is it, right here. I do now do the 
um, CO2 injection for that as well. So this tank takes months and months and months to prep. Plants take time. There's a ton of things I need to do with it eventually down the long run. But one of the key things you saw what I did was I had community fish. I had things like tons of tetra fish, tons of uh, uh, mollies and, and, and live breeder fish, a lot of them in this tank, right? And they were great because um, they provide nutrients into the soil, into the, 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 uh, into the gravel, right? So they'll poop and, and things like that. They're also extremely good at cleaning the algae off of plants. So they were like the little fish keepers I needed to get going at, uh, to get the tank going at the beginning, the planted tank and so on. So, um, there is, there is a reason behind the madness for, for, for that. And then I moved all the fish, all of the uh, community fish out. They're now in their own tank. They're happy there. They get fed well. And I have a beautiful planted tank with tons of nutrients in the gravel uh, for these plants to latch on to. As well, I do add a little bit of salt once in a while into the tanks, aquarium salt, um, and anything else I feel that the tank needs. It is all a learning curve, but that's kind of the idea to keep that as natural as possible. So once I've moved out all the community fish, I decided what to do. And I got a flower horn, and originally I got a paku, but the paku was to be grown out and moved to another tank, but that's another story. He ended up back at the store, and I ended up keeping my favorite fish, which is the flower horn. Hopefully, he will do good. And I've uh, noticed that the flower horn absolutely does not like to be alone in the tank. He wants another fish or some kind of company. He was extremely sad uh, not to have something in there because originally when I put him in there were a few community fish and he wanted to chase them and eat them probably and um, so I needed to do something so I went ahead and got a few little uh, blue jack Dempsey uh, electric blue jack Dempsey babies which will grow to a fairly decent beautiful size um, there they are right there uh, fairly decent, beautiful size uh, cichlid, and they are stunning. So it'll be a beautiful contrast. I, I can't say enough how important it is to plan out, if you can, a little bit. Uh, at least in my head, I have the idea of a jungle tank, and you know, I want to be to, to create some sort of a self-sustaining tank in the future. So I want. To get these plants to self-sustain, I want to um, have my flower horn in there and the Jack Dempsey's, but I also will probably add some live breeders back in the tank in the future. Maybe some some of my black mollies, they seem to be breeding the most. Something like that. Maybe some guppies. I do breed out guppies. Something that can hide in all this vegetation that will be here, and there will be a ton of it, and if they breed out a lot, these fish will, will um, eat the fry and um, it will be a, um, a self-sustaining ecosystem is, is what I really would like to do. Um, so stay tuned. And like I said, if you are just blindly going into a store like I used to do plenty of time, um, yeah, buy a plant instead. That's my best advice, my best tip to all of you guys, if, if, if you're itching to buy something and you're at a pet store, buy a plant um, or a decoration. In my case, in the back here, you'll see plenty of decorations with the pirate, the big 90 gallon pirate ship. Um, absolutely enjoy building that tank. It's almost finished. Um, and it's so enjoyable. All these tanks, um, take time and they're so fun. If you're getting it, it interested in the uh, aquarium hobby yeah it doesn't take much to start even a beta tank with a and then get a little plan for it and you know it it is a lot of fun good luck guys hopefully you got inspired thanks for watching bye